Hi, my cameraman quit, so here we are again. It's time to cook. I'm going to make egg rolls, sort of. Um, these are like a deconstructed egg roll. It's called egg roll in a bowl. So it's healthy and it tastes delicious. So here we go. I've already started to save time. And in my skillet, I have one pound of ground beef. Now you can use ground turkey and that'll make it even healthier. I guess if you've got ground bison. So I brown that, then I put into the skillet a cup of onions, brown that for two or three minutes, and I added a cup of shredded carrots, uh, three cloves of crushed garlic, and a half a teaspoon of ginger. And it really is best to use fresh ginger if you can find it at all. So now that has cooked for two or three minutes, and I'm ready to move on. So next we're going to add a quarter cup of chicken broth and just kind of deglaze the pan a bit. So we'll just stir that around, scrape the bottom of the pan, mix everything together. It's noisy, isn't it? Okay, so that's all mixed. Deglazing the pan just allows you to get all those good flavor bits off the bottom of the pan and into your dish. I think we got that. Okay, next we're going to add five cups of shredded cabbage. And that was sliced like a quarter inch thick. I cut the cabbage in fours and then the quarter inch slices. So that goes in next. I'm going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce. I use tamari. Two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. Half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of pepper. Of course, you can always add more of that later. I'm going to stir this up really well. And then this is going to cook on medium low for about 12 to 15 minutes. You want the cabbage to wilt and all the flavors to melt together. So mix all this up. My daughter's off camera here handing me a lid, so I guess it needs to cover, be covered for those 12 minutes. Okay, so that's all mixed up. Now I'm going to let that cook, and I'll be back shortly. Thank you. Okay, I'm back. Um, this cooked in about 10 minutes. It just depends on what consistency you like for the cabbage, whether you want it al dente or soft or whatever. So it's ready for us, and that's it. We're done. So here's what we're going to do. Now, you can put this over rice, you can eat it by yourself, by itself, however you want to do it, but I made some cauliflower rice to be a little healthier even. So I'm going to put a little of that on the plate, grab some cauliflower rice, I'm going to put this on top of it, I'm going to sprinkle it with some chopped green onions, and that's it, we're ready to go. Now you can add more soy sauce if you want, or whatever you like, but it's done and it's delicious. I'm back. My cameraman needs a little tutorial. <laughs> anyway, this is great. It's easy. It's healthy. I hope you try it. Thanks for joining me. You have to say you're back because it picks up where you stop.